Welcome to Good and Happy News TV. Now, this show started eight weeks ago, and we've had a fantastic and amazing run, good response from people who've watched it. Because at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is to continue to give out and share uplifting, positive, and good stories that are happening here in Kenya and around the world. Now, we've seen amazing stories. We've seen amazing experiences of people out there, as much as they are being hit left, right, and center, center by this uh, pandemic, they are resilient. They are willing to just keep on moving one step at a time, one day at a time, to be able to get through this pandemic. And of course, here at Good and News TV, we look at sharing and shining the light on these stories. Now, in this episode, we've decided to take things a little bit different we are going to be shining the light on people, ordinary Kenyans, ordinary people who are taking their own time and going beyond their call of duty to help other people. Now, giving the giver is a feature on Good, New, Good and Happy News TV that we'll be having every week. And we hope it might even become bigger because we have a nice story to tell as our first episode. We stumbled upon a foundation that has been working around the clock and it's being led by a 25-year-old young gentleman by the name of Ali Kapasi. Now, he was fortunate enough to, you know, get a lot of help from people around him. But then again, that did not deter him from continuing it, even at a very young age, to be able to, you know, think about others and putting others ahead of himself. And that's what really is very important about these stories. He has an amazing story. 46 families he managed a week ago to get them a roof over their head. We'll get to know those details. But of course, I'm joined by my teammate on Good and Happy News TV. That is Anne Wangoi, who is a part of this amazing team. Anne, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Karibu Karibu sana. Can you imagine we've not met since we started doing this together? This is the first time, guys, that we are actually meeting me and Anne. Anne has been very kind to be part of this team, and she's been volunteering her time to help us with content and helping us put together the amazing stories that we've been sharing with you on Good and Happy News TV for the last couple of weeks. So Anne, of course, takes up uh, this uh, new challenge. And she managed to track down Ali Kapasi. But before we go to Ali Kapasi's story, how are you holding up and how are you doing that? I'm doing well, trying my best to stay healthy, stay safe, and keep my family safe as well. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. All right, Ali's, Ali Kapasi's story is amazing. And here at Giving the Giver, we are looking at mm -hmm. making... Uh, noise and good positive noise about people who are going beyond their call of duties to help. And yesterday, or should I say um, a few days ago, you managed to get to visit uh, Ali Kapasi doing what he's doing with his foundation. It's called the Aloha Foundation. What did you think about Ali and uh, this amazing story that we're just about to share? First of all, it was very surprising to see how young he is. For someone so young to be doing such a huge magnitude of work, uh, I'll just say props to him for the impact he has had on people around that Kariobangi South area. Uh, it was also very heartbreaking to see what the women there are going through because they have children and uh, they look up to you with so much hope to help them. And for Ali to have taken that step to actually help them and hold their hands, as much as uh, as much as they're not so many, but he has done a very good job, just holding their hands and guiding them and getting them somewhere to stay and sleep at night. You know, a roof of their, over their heads. So you were the one on the ground. You went with Morris, the uh, cameraman, to go and uh, get this story on the ground. Just how, how, yeah, what impact did you see in the lives of these people who benefited from Aloha Foundation? What could you, what could you tell that these families are going through in terms of uh, Ali coming to help them? Uh, I think 
first of all, now at least they have shelter because talking to them, they were saying how they had nowhere to sleep, you know, so they were so unsafe. Some of them even have young girls. They were so afraid that, you know, something can happen to them outside. And I think that Ali has done a good job. Just providing a roof over their heads is something good and it's a start, you know, first to, to do what we can and then we progress further from there. But uh, I think their lives have changed from from how they were, uh, say, two weeks ago when the houses were demolished. Wow. You know, yeah. Ali's story I, I, continues to, to really amaze me. At 25, I don't think, I can't even remember what I was doing at 25. I don't know if I was thinking about myself or I was thinking about other people and, and if they have a roof of their head, over their heads. But this is an amazing story. And Anne, thank you so much for doing this interview. And I'd like us now to have a look at the story. Anne and Morris, our cameraman, went to Kariobangi South and they went and visited Ali as he was doing what he's been doing for a couple of years now with the Aloha Foundation. Later on, we're going to give Ali a major surprise a major, major surprise, which will definitely blow his mind away because we've gotten a partner uh, who've decided to come on board and help Ali. So that's the essence of this show, basically, at the end of the day, is to help the helper, to give the giver. So we are connecting the giver and a partner, a sponsor, who will donate either food, like Ali has been providing these households, and we provided a much needed resource a much needed item that Ali is going to be surprised with at the end of this show. We are going to reveal that in a while. But right now, let's have a look at this story. Al Aloha Foundation, from, uh, which is being run by Ali Kapasi, a 24-year-old young man from Nairobi, helping more than 40 families have a roof over their head. Let's have a look, and we'll be back. My name is uh, Ali, Ali Nganga, and I'm the founder of Aloha Foundation. And uh, basically what Aloha Foundation is, it's about giving back to the neglected peoples in, people in the society. So what we do is we identify those people and we identify their needs, what they need most, and we try mitigate their needs and try to get them to a better situation in life. Now we started on the Kariobangi project because we realized after they, they were evicted, like about two or three weeks, they were still staying at the eviction site in the, some holes, some destroyed buildings. So we decided to help them. We started by giving them foodstuffs, but that wasn't enough because we realized as much as we were giving them food, we were still leaving them out there to the cold, to the rain. So we started with about 46 families, and so far we've helped all of them get, get homes. So we have an extra 15 people, 15 families to help. And that's what we are looking into, into helping. The biggest challenge is uh, capital to help those families because like uh, one family needs about 6,000 for rent. So that's, that's just rent. That's not even considering food, mattresses, beddings. Our main challenge is, is that capital. And as well as our other challenge is to find people who genuinely need help. We have to do our research around it to make sure these families need help and this family is trying to steal from people. Yeah. So that's the challenge and the other challenge especially for the Kariobangi project was getting them homes. Like uh, once people realize some people have been evicted they hiked their price to even double. So getting homes where, whereby the, the families will be able to pay even after the one month rent has been paid was a really big challenge. I, I would say the work I'm doing is, is important, but not as important to, than to who we are helping. I believe my work is important to give people a boost, a jumpstart back into life, especially when people are down. They don't need somebody to kick them when they're down. They need somebody to hold, hold their hand, lift them up, and show them the way. What we really need the most right now is capital to be able to get the rest, the other 15 families, a roof over their heads, and as well now to get their mattresses, jikos, foodstuffs, beddings, just to, you know, give them something to continue hoping for a better tomorrow. 
ndikuwa na kaiyo sewage. Sasa mili ya mkatuwa subuhi, natajitarisha kwa nalikuwa nimeka hapo na kibanda. Sikuwa nalipia hiyo kibanda, kwa tumebejega kibanda, nafanya hapo kazi yangu na watatu wangu wa kikula. Haka chukua majina, alitukua na kwaza na video, wakaenda nazo. Tuka andika majina, wakaenda nazo pia. Sasa likuwa nimeka, kanipigia si muko wapi, nikaambia, kwenye ninaka, nimeka kwa parafiki yangu. Sasa kaniambia kuja, nika kuja, kwela linileta hapa. Kaniambia nyumba, iko, utapata, uneza pata ama nipakua uko comfort, baka naambia mi nikawambia niko sa, niko sawa. Sasa kukaa hivyo, ndi ya alia likuja. Kaniambia kwa konfamizo majina, na mi nikitu ngesema, mbele ya mungu, nimesaidika nyumba nimepata, hata watu wangu watalala wikuwa vizuri. Asa, kitu ngesema, ngesema, Kitu ngesema, kama kuna jiko, waneza tuletea na matres, tukua sawa, mili kwa nafanya biyashara. Iyo ome lipasuliwa, siju nitanzia wapi. Kama kunugekua tunamsade ingina, mtu waneza ni boost, nifanya kama iyo biyashara, jumia watoto wangu wakule, ngesema santi sana. Good to see you, Angela. It's been a couple of weeks of trying to get to this point. And I'd like to say thank you for, for really uh, making this possible because this is a journey that I think um, will bear fruits in its own way as we continue to applaud and appreciate people out there, ordinary people who are actually out there helping other people. And uh, as you know, Ali, uh, your son has been uh, doing an amazing job through his uh, foundation, Aloha Foundation. So this moment is his moment and we'd like to appreciate him but before we do that just give us a little bit uh, of a background to what got ali into this space where he instead of at his age thinking about himself he's thinking about other people and how he can help them right so thank thanks Eddie. um yeah it's been as you said it's been a couple of weeks of of trying to keep this undercover i'm not too sure i'm, I'm very good at, at being undercover, but um, thank you for your patience around this, and and really for um, you know for the honor of um, of, of taking uh, consideration of what Ali has been doing. Uh, but if I think back uh, to the early years um, when you know pretty much before before his early teens, um, and when we would go out as family to to do some you know help with um, families. Um, who are less fortunate, he always had a passion for that. I mean, mm -hmm. he was one child, he said I was going to Mama Fatuma's to, you know, to visit them over the weekend and, you know, take them some foodstuffs. He was always willing to accompany me. Wow. Uh, and it just basically took an interest in, 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 in that perspective uh, right from when he was a, a young child. Uh, but what was most interesting for me is, you know, when he started, when he went into high school, um, and during the holidays, um, you know, when we would go to church um, on, on Sundays or even on Saturday, he would ask for some additional money and say, Mommy, I want to go and feed some street children. And I would be like, street children? Wow. I mean, and he would just start off with a couple of loaves of bread. And initially I thought, okay, this is just a one-off. But then it became a weekend, you know, a weekend affair. So every other weekend he would, he would go out and just feed street families. Wow. Uh, when he when they start, um, again, in the early years, they got together with a couple of friends and he told me, Mom, I want to, I want to start a, a SSR initiative. Um, and, and that's basically how Aloha Foundation came to being. And um, he's been very consistent around those activities. I mean, it's, it's really a blessing to have a, um, you know, a child who really thinks about others first before himself. And um, it's it's, it, it, really touches, it touches my heart to see a young person really taking that sort of initiative. And so it, was, it wasn't a surprise that, you know, when the whole COVID issue emerged, uh -huh. that um, he specifically, you know, first he had an interest in understanding about the illness, about the effects of it. Uh, but then more importantly, then, you know, he, he took a social angle to it in terms of wanting to support the family. Uh -huh. And so he started at the homes initially, um, and then he went to the, um, he went to, you know, uh, Forgotto and, and a couple of other homes for the elderly. And uh, most recently, when the, the, the plight was highlighted of the, you know, the homes that had been rendered, uh, you know, all the, the, the families that were rendered homeless uh, yeah. due to the evictions in, in Kaliobangi, 
Yeah. And he said, Mama, we've got, we've got, I've got to do something about it. Mm. Uh, he was recognized last year by Daystar, uh, you know, as, as, you know, for his, for his uh, uh, social, social work. So he, he, he won the top award for during their, wow. their, their DUSA awards. So, I mean, it's, 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 um, it, it really warms my heart. Definitely. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's, this is big. I mean, considering again the age and um, just the capacity to think uh, that you can find ways of providing for the underprivileged. Now, of course, uh, IG, it's an amazing journey. Which we think it's important to continue supporting. And I think it's time now we, we actually bring him into the picture. And now, how I'd like you to do this is just call him and tell him. Uh, you know, just tell him that somebody would like to talk to you um, on Zoom, a friend, and then I'll pick it up from there. So if you could just call him. Thank you so much, actually, for, okay. for, for giving us that background. It really, really helps a lot, Angie. Thanks, thanks, thanks a lot, Eddie. Thank you. Yeah, I know the anticipation. <laughs> <laughs> someone who wants to talk to you. Let's get your shirt. Ali Kapasi. Yeah, hi Eddie. Zuri Sana, how are you doing? Good, good. Uko Salama. Hey, Uko Salama, eh? Kabisa, same here, very well. You look very relaxed at home, uh, chilled out. Ah, yeah, I was taking a day off. I was just at Kayobangi yesterday, so. Ah. So I was just taking the time to at least collect myself before I go back. Fantastic. I mean, uh, uh, it comes with no surprise that, uh, I mean, you've caused uh, some very good, um, um, you know, stories to, 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 to be shared on Instagram. You've got an amazing foundation, a lower foundation, and that's the reason I'm here to talk to you yeah. about. Yeah. Uh, okay. So how is it going? How is the foundation going? And uh, I know you've been doing and have been busy with a lot of, uh, you know, helping out the underprivileged. How is it going so far? Uh, it's quite good. I mean, I've, I've been able to achieve all the goals we set out. Mm -hmm. Just uh, recently, we set, out, we set out to help the Kayobangi families, about 46. Um, we set this out last week on Monday. Mm -hmm. And by this week on Monday, we had already uh, gotten the 46 families homes. Wow. Homes where they could leave their kids and mm -hmm. they could go back to work. And just yesterday, from the 46 families, mm -hmm. about 30 of them have already gone back to work. Wow. So, yeah, they're even saying, I mean, you already gave us the lift we needed. We're we are back, we back to, to work. And thank you so much. And that's and that's all we need to do, giving each other a lift and reaching out to them. And uh, I really commend you, uh, Ali. I think uh, your commitment is just goes to show that uh, you're not just doing this for doing it, but it, it's to actually have an impact, yeah. for, especially now as we go through this very difficult time. Now, I'd like to introduce you to somebody, Ali. I don't know if you're ready. Okay. <laughs> uh, we, have, we have some good news for you. We have some good news for uh -huh. you. And um, okay. you actually, yesterday's interview, you were, we pranked you. It was a prank. Ah. <laughs> it is not an online, okay. it is not an online media house. Uh -huh. It's actually a show that uh, I run. It's called uh, Good and Happy News TV. And ah, uh, okay. we have a feature which we are running, and this is our first feature where we want to acknowledge uh -huh. people out there who are helping other people by helping them because there's no uh -huh. way you can help if you have nothing. You cannot give love if you have no love in your, in your heart. No you love, true. Support if you don't support yourself. So I think, first of all, you've placed yourself in a place where you can help people and that's why you're doing what you're doing. Yeah. So allow me to bring on to this conversation the marketing manager for Superform um, they make matters. Ah, okay. It is Sanskrati Shetty. Shetty, you can come on now. Hi, hi, Eddie. Hi, hi Ali. Shetty. Hi, how are you? Good, good. All good. Now, Ali, 
uh, we've been following your story and we've been seeing what you're doing and uh, we've been touched by the great efforts that you're putting in to help these families. You just said 46 families were, were helped yesterday by uh, this coming past week and this week by getting a roof over their heads and 30 of them have managed to, at least the, the leads, the, 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 the heads of the family have managed to go back to work and, and, and yeah. uh, really, really great. So yeah. Shetty here is from Superform, as I'd mentioned. She's the marketing manager and we were talking about how we can help you. And uh, uh -huh. Superform has been very, very kind to come through to help us. I'll not tell you what it is. I'll let Shetty do that. But before I do that, Shetty, I'd like to really thank you once again for yeah. giving us uh, a chance to help other people who are helping other people. And uh, Superform, of course, a renowned uh, uh, manufacturer, a big industrial uh, manufacturing for um, our, our mattresses and our pillows. How are you coping with everything right now, considering you also you're, you've got a big number of staff and a business to run? Sure. First of all, Eddie, thank you for giving us this opportunity to be a part of this show that you're doing where we are helping the helpers who are helping uh, people in the society during mm -hmm. these tough times. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, Ali, we'd just like to commend you on your efforts that you're taking and we're just overwhelmed that a uh, 25 year old a young boy is even you know working the work this and we're so happy to know about your story uh, that you know it totally we wanted to be a part of this because our brand totally believes in giving back to the society csr is a huge part of our uh, business so yeah. do, do, during these tough times as, as well, uh, while we're trying to sustain our business, which is obviously the primary goal, but uh, mm -hmm. we are very active in our CSR initiatives right now because we know Kenya needs, uh, you know, the required support and in, in, uh, in whatever we, we can as a brand. So Perform is, get, is uh, getting into initiatives, collaborating with uh, people to kind of help in whatever way we can. And uh, because we are mat mattress manufacturers, I think mm -hmm. uh, sleep and taking rest and you know recovering is a huge part of very important uh, yeah. right yeah. now. Yeah, so, so yeah, so we're very active in a lot of initiatives of us. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we're very happy to be a part of this. Shetty, it's amazing because you, you, you've said it yourself, somebody as young as Ali, somebody that we need to support and, and I really appreciate. So I'll let you, Shetty, give the yeah. good news to Ali. Just share with him what, what Superform has decided to do for Aloha Foundation. So now that we've heard that, you know, you're going out and providing housing, and I think obviously all of them will need a mattress. I'm sure a lot of them have, but we'd like yes. to provide them with uh, with mattresses. All the houses. Uh, that, mat <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be really amazing. Yeah, I hope you like that. Yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> Especially for the that families. Decided in a small way. While you're, you have big plans and you're executing them in a small way, we'd like to come in as a brand and Superform would like to provide the mattress. Ah, that would be amazing. It's not even a small way, that's a huge way. I mean, for a family that's sleeping on the floor, on the, the, the wood, that would it's a life changing thing for them. Right, right. Yeah. That's Ali, and of course, it's, it's a, a huge, just a small part of what um, everybody out here who knows what you're doing can, can do for you. But maybe, uh, Shetty, you could tell us what, what is the value of what you're giving in terms of Ali, because so that we can also just have a, a visual of what magnitude this amazing gesture coming from me is going to be to him. Sure. I mean, you know, the value of it could be around 200000 in. But more wow. than that, I think it's the impact that it will have. Like you said, you know, uh, you're providing housing for these uh, people who've not had a proper structure, and for them to sleep on a mattress, I think we cannot value, we cannot weigh that value. So I yeah. think it's it, it's that uh, effort that we want to collaborate with. 
Yeah. Amazing. I mean, yeah. there's no value value to that. Sure, sure. That is priceless for the families. Yeah. yeah. Ali, how do you feel now? I feel good. And I was I was wondering, you know, you know, everyone says, What's the what's the plan? So my plan was to first get them housing. Now they are getting mattresses. I mean, it's everything they would they'd want and they need right now. Yeah, we're we're taking away the problem of where to sleep on. And after that, now they just go back to and even the kids. I think mm. some kids who are about uh, the babies who are just like two months, three months have somewhere to lie on instead of lying on the floor, or the beds with mm. no mattresses. I mean. There's, there's no price tag to that. That's just priceless for them. Fantastic. Great. Thank you yeah. so much, Shetty. Really, really appreciate it, Shetty. So, Ali, I'm going to coordinate between you and uh, Shetty. And then okay. when I link the two of you up, then uh, Shetty, I'm sure we'll chill organize how you get what they donated. And um, yeah. Shetty, we cannot, okay. say, we cannot say thank you enough, Shetty. And uh, we thank you for that. We thank you so much. Yeah. Shetty. Thank you for uh, Ali for doing this on the first uh, step to you know for us as a brand super form to come mm -hmm. in and do something like this. So thank you for all your efforts and thanks Ali for recognizing Ali and sure. putting this platform for us. All right, thank you, thank yeah. you, Chetty. Bye bye and have a good thank day. So the rest of it. Thanks Ali, thanks Ali. Okay, bye bye, Chetty. So there you have it. It's been the first edition of Giving the Givers, restoring humanity and being able to help those who are committing themselves, ordinary people, ordinary everyday Kenyan who's actually said, you know what, I can do more. I can think about other people. And Ali Kapasi is a personification of that type of uh, humanity being restored and we definitely wish him all the best so until the next episode we'll be here on good and happy news tv every week we'll try and get as many helpers out there who need help and if you feel that you can help a helper who is helping other people get in touch with us on our facebook page that is good and happy tv that is on facebook page good and happy tv and we'll definitely get you connected to them so keep it keep it keep it here and of course stay good be kind and let's face as we battle this and this unprecedented times goodbye and quiet